What's going on, Taurus? I hope you are very well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a new love reading for the year 2022. So when I say new love, Taurus, in general, I'm talking about someone that you've never been with before in a commitment with. So you might know who this person is. You know, you could know of them. You could be talking to them a little bit, but in general, this is going to be new love. So if you're single or you're looking for new love in general for the new year, then this is for you, Taurus. You are very, very welcome here in this space with me, Taurus, as we move through the reading. And thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading. I do greatly appreciate that. If you find that it resonates with you, Taurus, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. I would also greatly appreciate that. So without further ado, what would you like Taurus to know, Spirit, about this new love coming in for 2022? Let's go ahead and tap into your timeline and see what's coming your way for love for the new year, Taurus. As always, I'd like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Taurus. What would you like Taurus to know about this new love coming in for 2022? What would you like Taurus to know about this new love coming in for 2022? What would you like Taurus to know about this new love coming in for 2022? All right, let's see what is going on, Taurus. I have a really good feeling about this. Yeah, Ace of Wands here. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. All right, so Spirit wants you to know that this person that you're dealing with is definitely looking for love. Whoever this person is, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a spiritual spark between the two of you. This also indicates a lot of physical attraction. So if you know who this person is already, I do feel like there's a mutual physical attraction between the two of you here. Okay, um, if you don't know who they are, when they come in, there's gonna be this like this is almost like love at first sight type of thing, uh, Taurus. So even if it's from distant, you know, you're just talking to them on social media or something. There's, there's almost like I'm getting intuitively like, like this feeling of instant chemistry, right? Then you also have this queen of pentacles here. So I do sense there's an immense physical attraction between the two of you. And at least at first, I feel that's going to be the, the kind of magnet that brings you like the physical aspect. So the queen of pentacles here, you could be dealing with an earth sign, another fellow earth sign, Taurus. Um, this person is probably very reliable, very practical, um, I do sense they're very beautiful as well, whoever this person is, or handsome, you know, the queen of pentacles, it doesn't have to be a female, we're just talking energy here. This person is very nurturing as well, so I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to treat you right here, Taurus, they're going to nurture you, they're probably pretty good, you know, pretty good with money, you know, they probably have some sort of stability in terms of finances here, which is always a plus, you know, the queen of pentacles here is all about, you know, the earthly realm. Okay, so they're very sensual. I do feel like this person is very in tune with their body as well. Okay, they, they're probably a great lover here, Taurus. So that's always a plus, right? That's always what you're looking for in love, obviously. Um, so intuitively what's coming through, I, I sense like the thing that's drawing you together is the physicality. But as it progresses, I do, I do sense like the spiritual side opening up. But this is a very like sensual, probably sexy person. You know, someone that's very like luxurious, very lush, you know. Okay, then we have the world card here, um, Taurus. So uh, this person could be a little bit older than you for some of you. It doesn't have to be. Um, but the world card indicates that they're ending a cycle. They're closing out a certain phase. Intuitively, I just sense that this person is hungry for love. Okay, because they've been through the hero's journey is what this is indicating. The world card is the last card in the major arcana. And it indicates a reward for going through that long journey from the fool to the world. You know, they've, they, this person is very uh, smart, probably. You know, they have a lot of wisdom behind them. And what I sense is this person is very hungry for physical 
affection. You know, they're, they're very hungry for a new phase to open up. So they're exiting a major phase of their life, the world card. Something's coming to an end for them here, Taurus. Um, and I feel like it's being alone because the Queen of Pentacles here, at the Queen, like when the Queen of Pentacles is at her best or at his best, because I feel like a lot of you are dealing with, a ma I'm getting masculine energy here for a lot of you. Um, they're at their best when they're dealing with other people, right? When they have people around them. So they want, they want someone in. I feel like they are feeling lonely intuitively right now. Like it's almost like they've built up this empire, Taurus. You know, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be like a literal empire, obviously, but a successful business. And they just feel like there's, there's a missing piece to their puzzle. And I do feel like the missing piece is you or love in general for them. Yeah, and then you have the fool. How interesting is that? Just mentioned it. So this person is ready for the new here, Taurus. You know, this is very, this is going to be very exciting. I feel, I feel like you guys are meant to go on an adventure here. You have the ace of wands to the fool. This person is hungry for new love, right? They're willing to take a risk as well. Intuitively, what I feel about this person, Taurus, is like they are done with their routine. You know, they're done just waking up and going to work and, and watching Netflix. Like they are, they are really ready for the new. You know, this is, this is such a clear indication. They're done with the cycle. They're entering a new one now in 2022 and it's all about love for them right so that's beautiful here taurus then we also have this wonderful high priestess energy super interesting here a lot of major arcanas coming out so the high priestess in this reading here i do feel like this person you know they could be a little bit like secretive um very intuitive though very wise you know this person is probably very spiritually aware actually i feel like i didn't give them enough credit for that you know i sent i sense that this person is very like physically attractive that's what they had down you know now after the fool is the high priestess this person is interested in um more than just what the physical world has to offer i feel like they've been there and they've done that so you i i feel like they're hungry for someone who can fulfill them not only physically but also spiritually and so I feel like they feel you're that complete package, Taurus, if, especially if you know who this person is. A lot of you guys are super spiritual. I do feel like this person is looking for kind of like an empath. But since they're, they could be an earth sign here, I, I, I definitely see why they're um, attracted to you, Taurus, because they don't just want some like like water sign, like spiritual person who's so like up in the ethers and just like, oh, I'll do it. They want an earth sign, you know, and so... I always say that that's a great combination. Like the earth signs who are spiritual, you guys are like the best of both worlds. And that's exactly what this person is looking for. Now they could have a secret. I do sense that they have some sort of, um, they have some sort of desire that they've always had that they're finally letting themselves go towards. And I feel like you're the archetype that fits whatever their desire is. So there's something about you here. I feel like they're also trying to figure you out a little bit with this high priestess. You know, they may not be sure of you or like you you seem very mysterious to them this person could also have like an air of they're very alluring you know it's kind of like they could just this person they'll just like suck you right in you know um but it's looking it's looking amazing here um then you also have this queen of cups energy here taurus so yeah this person is very um very compassionate very laid back as well you know the queen of pentacles they are they are very well off in the physical world, probably very sensual, but they're sweet. You know, when it comes down to it, the Queen of Cups is a very compassionate, loving individual, very allowing too. I don't see you getting in any like crazy fights with this person, Taurus. The Queen of Cups is just someone who like, they go with the flow, you know, the water. So you could be dealing with a water sign for some of you. For some of you, I am sensing Taurus. Um, this could be a, a same sex relationship. Like if you're a woman and you're interested in another woman, I, I do feel like that energy is here, but it doesn't have to be that. Um, if you're dealing, whoever this man is, if, if you're dealing with a man, Taurus, I do feel like they're really in touch with their feminine side very much. And this is, this is like the person you want to be with Taurus because they're the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. This person, once again, is the complete package of, they're not neglecting the physical reality. They're probably very wealthy, but they're also very kind, very compassionate. And I do feel like they could be exiting some sort of corporate thing for some of you, Taurus. Like they could be someone who is exiting a, a, like, like a soulless corporate world. And so they want someone who's a good physical match, but also like someone who's not, um, you know, dishonest. I feel like they, they're expecting honesty here. 
Okay, yeah, and then we also have this Eight of Pentacles right underneath the Queen of Pentacles. So this person is probably very productive, you know, very good with money. Um, I, they could even have multiple businesses, or if, if they work somewhere, they're probably a leader. This person is definitely a leader of some sort. You know, so it could be like, they could even be in the spiritual field, like a thought leader, a YouTuber. It doesn't have to be though. But whoever this person is, they're very, they're very secure. So you're entering into a partnership this year, whoever the person is, you're not going to have to like provide for them. If anything, they're going to help you. I feel like they could be, they could provide for you. They're not going to be a taker. They're, they're very much so a giver, hardworking. Oh Lord. Then you have this wheel of fortune right underneath the world. So yeah, this is, de this is a faded connection here, Taurus. Wheel of Fortune right underneath the world. So now that this cycle is closed out for them, you there's something about the wheel of their fate, their destiny is starting to spin. You know, this is kind of like hitting the jackpot and I feel like the jackpot is you. Once again, I feel like this person, you guys are a really good match because you're an earth sign, Taurus, right? That means you're very grounded, yet you're very spiritual. If you're watching a tarot reading right now, you're very spiritual. You're very aware of, of the higher realms. That's why this high priestess is here. So the reason I feel like this is a, you guys are like have a similar frequency. So whoever this person is, Taurus, I feel like this is almost like a twin flame thing. Um, they have a very, like a soulmate for sure. They have a similar frequency to you. So this person is not going to be someone who's quite different to you. They're going to be very similar to you. It's almost like this is going to be your mirror. So keep that in mind. But they feel like you're part of their destiny here. Once again, it's like love at first sight with that ace of wands. They feel like you're part of their destiny, that they're meant to be with you. But they're trying to figure it out as well because it's very intense for them. I feel like this person is very practical. Maybe they're a little bit new to the spiritual world. For some of you, it doesn't have to be for all of you. But they're trying to figure out this. I feel like it's very overwhelming for them actually. But although it's overwhelming, this connection, like you and them... They're capable of dealing with it. The Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. They're not going to be. They're not going to be. Although it's overwhelming, they're not going to be completely overwhelmed. Like they'll still be able to move forward. Yeah, and then you have this Fool with with the Ten of Swords right underneath it. So there, uh, there's a major ending for them. They're they're free. You know, they're, they 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 could have um, exited a relationship kind of recently, or they could have lost a job. But even if they lost a job, they could be building something up new here. But they are they are well off phys physically and financially. But yeah, this is an ending for them. So they're ready for the new. You know, Ten of Swords. They could have had people that stabbed them in the back. You know, the Ten of Swords could literally be 10 different people kind of stabbing them in the back. So I do feel like they're looking for a spiritual partner, which is you, Taurus. But they're looking for a spiritual partner, which is also grounded. And that's you. You're an Earth, you're an earth sign. Um... So I, I love earth signs because of that, you know, especially this, the ones who are aware of spirituality. Okay, and then you have this chariot energy. So once something ends for them, they are moving. They're looking to manifest you for sure, and they believe that they can. The one thing I'll say about this person is they don't have a lot of self-worth issues. This person is very confident yet calm. Um, it's almost like they have a very healthy, integrated ego here Taurus so this is the type of person you want to be with this is not someone who's going to get into like an this is not like a battle of egos at all this is very pure um but the fact that you have this chariot right underneath this high priest it's almost like once they figure out because at first one like remember what I said Taurus at first the thing that's going to draw you to each other for a lot of you is the physical the physical attraction as the physical attraction starts to brew, as you start to talk more here, they're going to realize something more is at play. The high priestess of the Wheel of Fortune, once they realize that it's more than just physical and this is like a new realm, a new, I do feel like you can activate each other as well, spiritually, kundalini type thing. You guys are going to have wild sex, honestly. You know, sorry if that's too graphic, but like you guys are really a good physical match. But once they realize there's more than just the physical, they're moving towards you. This is the last card. So give it some time, Taurus. And this person is moving towards you. They believe they can manifest you here. The chariot is all about knowing when to move forward and push back. It also talks about movement and technology, utilizing technology. So this person could send you an email or a DM, Taurus. Okay, you, they're, they're willing to utilize technology. They're also willing to maneuver. The chariot is all about, you know, you're protected as well. You're, this, this connection is divinely protected. You see how the person is in the chariot? That means that they're moving towards something with divine protection around them. It is a major arcana. So their soul is on fire for you. I mean, you look at the first read, you look at the first card, Taurus, Ace of Wands, and then you look at the last card, the chariot. So 
yeah, this person is um, this person is very so much like on fire for you. I'll just say that, right? Okay, and let's start clarifying a few of these cards for you and seeing what is going on here. Just get more information, essentially. So the first card that I want to clarify here for you, Taurus, is... Um, Let's clarify this Ace of Wands. You know, why is this Ace of Wands here for you, Taurus? Let's see. Why is this Ace of Wands here for Taurus? Immense physical attraction, without a doubt. One more. I love this reading. It really is a good reading. Okay, so we have the slowing down card here. This is kind of like the Knight of Pentacles here. So yeah, this is going to be a slow movement with you guys. Okay, so it's almost like, you know, whenever you have that feeling of love at first sight, the wise thing to do would be to kind of like, Take it a little slow, like check yourself. And that's what's exactly happening here. So that whoever this person is, there's an instant spark between the two of you, but then there's a there's a period of figuring it out with that high priestess. There, there needs to be a period where they integrate and they realize something is more ha something more is happening than just the physical connection. So at first this might this person might just take you as like, oh, it's just another physical connection, but something's opening up for them. So they're not gonna move in fast. You know, but they are going to pick up speed at a certain point, but not first. So there is going to be a period of like a graceful, like just talking, like getting to know each other is what I sense here, Taurus. Um, well, it's also, <coughs> wow. Did you hear that? My voice just cracked. I was like, let's also, um, but yeah, let's also clarify this world card for you. Okay. What are they coming out of here? What are they, what are they ending? Let's good. Let's go with that. Why is this world card here for Taurus? Their person. All right, so we have the awareness. Yeah, this person is very aware that a cycle is closing out for them. It could be painful for them as well. You know, you have this Ten of Swords to the Fool. This person is a little bit nervous about what they're, what's to come. Okay, they almost don't know. And that's why the high priestess is here as well. Because they're like, I know I have to go on this fool's journey. I know I have to let something go. But, you know, they could be making a sacrifice here. They're very aware, though, of their spirituality, for sure. Or they're very aware of their destiny. They, they know that something's happening for a reason. I just sense that they may not know it as good as you. Um, the one thing I'll say about this person, I do think you're, I think you're like 10% more spiritually evolved than them. And they could be 10% more physically evolved than you. That's what, that's what the energy is here. So, so you're, you could almost be like a little bit of a teacher for them in terms of spirituality. You're definitely going to crack them open. And they can also help you kind of like master the physical realm is what I'm getting here. Um, so a lot of you are definitely dealing with a man who's very like, who's open to learning more about spirituality. Could be a, a female for those of you looking for that as well. Um, so let's also clarify this. Um, Let's clarify this high priestess. Why is this here? Although it's a painful ending, I don't sense they're clinging to anything, though. They're ready to go. Why is this High Priestess energy here for Taurus? Ooh, yeah, the Master card here. They are interested in spiritual mastery. They are interested in learning about spirituality, and I feel like you're the one to help them. They're interested in self-actualization and mastering themselves. So with this person, once again, they, they've, they've gone through a certain journey. I feel like it's like the typical, like, 
go to college, get a job and get rewarded for it. Like maybe they dropped out of college, maybe they started their own business, but there's something that they did. They are satisfied with that, but now there's more, the master. They're interested in self-mastery. And the way to get that is through a relationship, to be honest with you. I, I do feel like there's some sort of potential. There's a, Here's the thing, like I'm going way down in the timeline. I don't think this person is ever gonna break your heart, Taurus. I feel like it would be the other way around. There's a high potential that down, I'm talking like years from now, if you get into a relationship with this person, there's a potential that you break their heart. That's just for some of you and something that spirit told me to say, but just be aware of that. I do feel like you're going to be the person, although they're physically abundant, I do feel like you're going to be kind of in control in this. I, cause I feel like you have more like, um, I don't know. You just have some sort of like more awareness than them about the spiritual realm, but they're open to it. It's almost like you, you could also be like a master for them. They, they probably perceive you as a master, you know, a spiritual master. They perceive you as like, holy crap, who the hell is this person? Right? This person could also become a master in their own right. So that's, they, they want to, they're learning how with that high priestess. Um, so let's also clarify this Wheel of Fortune, right? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here for Taurus? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here for Taurus? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Okay. So we have the Outsider card popping out here. So yeah, this person is hungry for more. They feel like they feel like there's so much more to life that they haven't experienced yet. Although they've experienced a lot of physical abundance, and you know, they they got the standard thing down. Like they did what their parents told them or something. And now they're like, wait a minute, there's this whole other world. So right now they, they could be feeling like they're outside of their own destiny. You know, they they probably don't feel like they're in alignment with their highest destiny. That's why so many things are falling apart for them. And that's why you met them because you're part of their destiny. So once again, once they realize that and they realize you're part of their destiny with that chariot, they're moving forward here. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. So, and then you also have the consciousness card in the comparison. So the consciousness card is once again, it's like the awareness card. It's beautiful that this is in the same row. They know that there's something happening with their destiny, but they're kind of freaked out by it a little bit. Once again, that's why you're the master because you're like, no, I could tell you about your destiny here. And they're like, what do you mean? And you're like, I just know, you know? Um, but then you have this comparison card as well. So they could be comparing their life to other people, you know, and that's what this drive comes from. I do feel like this person, what probably got them to where they are is, is some sort of comparison, but... I don't know, that's kind of like, just like a side note. I don't think Spirit's telling me to go too much into that. But yeah, they know that, they're, they know that their destiny is activating here, Taurus. Very powerful. Um, let's also clarify this chariot. Why is this here? Why is this chariot card here for Taurus? Oh man, the chariot is clarified by the fool. This person is willing to take a risk for you. Okay, there's something about you that they fear, but they're willing to risk it anyway. You know, they're, they're moving forward for you. I could see them make an offer. Once again, this is kind of like the thing where they're going to text you and they're going to be like, hey, do you want to like, you, let's just make it happen. Like, let's do it. Like, let's let's move in together or something like that as it starts to develop. Once they realize it's their destiny to be with you, because I feel like they do realize that, you know, you have the fool twice now, right? You have the fool twice. We can't ignore that, Taurus. We can't ignore that. So they're they're hungry for the new and the new is you, right? So this is beautiful. So the last thing that we're going to do here for you, Taurus, is um, we are going to do an oracle card reading and see what energy do you need to embody to really attract this person into your life. 
Okay, so this is a really fun Oracle deck here. It's all about different archetypes of uh, people. So, and different energy streams that you need to embody to attract this person. So what energy do you need to reside in here, Taurus, to really make this relationship work for 2022? Let's see, you know, what will draw this person to you? This is that good old law of attraction advice. What do you need to do to make this work? Let's see what we got here, Taurus. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the first card that I think is very uh, pertinent, we have Serenunos, Life Force. So this is that physical connection that I talked about. Definitely play up your physical compatibility with this person like there is a deep physical connection with this person that is going to be undeniable so this is about express your driving passion sensual and sexual powers are increased so don't be afraid to got to kind of flirt with this person and make it known that you're attracted to them sexually because they are with you there's no doubt about it that ace of wands here there's a, there's an there's an unavoidable physical connection that you guys have here um Taurus. So make sure you utilize that. Don't be afraid to kind of um, tap into that kind of animalistic side because this is not just that. We have all these major arcana's destiny, but don't be afraid to do that as well. Then we have the wonderful woman charity, prayer and contemplation. This says, connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. So this is about setting the intention. You know, make sure that your energetic foundation is laid. And this is a beautiful combination of like expressing your driving passion, your sexual energies, making sure that's all in alignment, um, but also connect with heaven. So that's why, and it goes back to like the complete package with you and this person where I do feel like there is this, uh, this like this person views you as the best of both worlds, heaven and earth combining together. So make sure that you play that up. You know, make sure that you make it known. Not only am I physically compatible, but I am. I'm. You, they they believe you're some sort of spiritual master. Then you have the wonderful Melchizedek, higher learning. So this card says you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further to further progress. More inner study is now required. All right, so there could be something that you have to learn about because I do feel like this person is very grounded in physical reality here, Taurus. So there could be something you have to learn about like the art of seduction, how to flirt, how to go on a date, like how like understanding someone's psychology is what you need to do with this person because they're going to realize whether they like it or not that the, the, the divine link is there. So it's up to you to really make it work in the physical because that's going to kick on the, the whole soulmate thing is going to kick in on its own. It's up to you to, to express your life force and then higher learning, you know, you've learned. So what are the mistakes that you've learned from past relationships? This is the big one. Make sure that you don't bring past mistakes, you know, the repeating patterns, all of the relationships that failed for you, it set you up for this one, Taurus. I truly believe that. So make sure that you integrate those lessons and real, and now you're going to have a higher perspective about why those things went bad with your exes because you, you know it was for this person. So with that being said, Taurus, I appreciate you. If you want more information on this person or your life in general, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You could find all the information for that in the description box of this video. It would be an absolute pleasure to work one-on-one -on -one with you guys. I would absolutely love it. It is such a joy for me to do. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys next week. I hope you have a great 2022. Enjoy this person. I do feel like this is a destined connection. Much love and light. This is the Autistic Mystic. Peace.